hi guys you're welcome to another android tutorial we'll be talking about the android ui we'll be focusing on the android material settings a small library to create settings activity in which we'll be looking at the switcher check boxes simple text dialog and different colors for each of these uh, switchers and we'll be looking at different colors for the background as well i'll be moving straight to android studio we we'll have the source file of this particular application in the Gradle script, I have uh, the build Gradle and a, a library is very important in this course of this integration. Uh, the library is from Denom and it's actually the material settings uh, source file. You know, you have to include this. So I actually included it in two forms. Uh, you can include it uh, manually or you can use your build Gradle to actually get it synchronized. So if you're actually using Gradle, you need to include the compile, com, GitHub, Kenium, Material Settings version 1.2.1. But if you're also trying to uh, use the full uh, library source, you can uh, import it into your source file and get it uh, synchronized using the compile project and pointing to the library and uh, making uh, this an editing on the settings Gradle. You need to include the library. So after doing this, you, are, you can synchronize Gradle and it's actually going to pick up uh, the library source. I'll be moving straight to the layout where I have the activity inflating views XML and the activity main XML. Uh, the activity main XML it's uh, the first uh, launcher of this uh, application whereby I have the related layout and link the whole XML uh, buttons. Uh, we have up to five buttons. The first button is for the simple settings. Uh, which is actually having an on click uh listen to the handle settings this is a tag which we actually use to depict or to detect the click and the second button is uh for the simple settings red uh what about the handle settings two is for its on click listener we have for the third that actually has the handle settings three and the fourth for which is a simple storage whereby we're going to see a different ui flow of this particular uh, settings activity. We have for the fifth one, which is the inflating views, uh, and it has the other settings file on the on click. So let's get to look at the Java classes. Where well, we're going to be having uh, the different activities of the settings, the one, two, three, and four, and also for the inflating views activity, making the fifth one. So we we'll get to look at the main activity. Well, we extends uh, to action bar. And we call on the second content view, which is the activity main. We have to uh, initialize these uh, button clicks. Firstly, is for the handle settings one, where we create an intent to it to push to a settings one activity class. The same thing goes for the two. It's going to call the settings two activity. The third, the fourth, and the fifth. Uh, they are going to call their appropriate classes to handle those clicks. So I'm going to look at one of those uh, activities because they are the same flavor but just with a uh, different UI tweak. That's the background color and the color of switchers and buttons. Uh, this particular settings one activity uh, imported the material settings activity, checkbox item, divider item, uh, either item, the switcher and the text view also uh, the preference storage interface and the storage interface are uh, imported. We're going to extend the material settings activity, implement the sample dialog on dialog click. This is how to actually add different items to your settings activity. Because in any application, you can have settings to handle permissions, to handle different other functionalities in the application which user need to set up. We have the add item for the divider. We have for the checkboxes. You know, and uh, these are the title of the checkbox, the subtitle of the checkbox, and we set an on check listener to this. On check change listener to the checkbox. So if it's check, it's going to be actually catched. And if not, uh, it's going to uh, disappear the check. Mark. Now for the divider, the switcher item, which we set the title as well, and we get the fragment of 
each one of these four the divider item, the switcher, the checkbox, and also the test view. That's uh, the dialog which I would like to show us uh, the set text view. Um, all right, that's fine. And uh, these are all done appropriately. So we actually need to manipulate the manifest because the manifest needs to uh, cache all uh, activities that were used. So that takes those down to the manifest. You need to register each of the activities that were called in the application, the five settings, the four settings with the inflating views activity. After you might have done that, uh, the application is ready to launch. I'll be showing you uh, the screen uh, cast of this particular uh, analysis and uh, you can get the flow of it. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.